Uh, the first thing is, I would say, role play the interaction. And we hear about this a lot. We th I, I say things like conversational interfaces, but I mean literally role play the interface, like this right here. Um, in fact, we're going to do this right now because this is such like, a valuable exercise. Um, I've asked Ida to help me here and actually show you the kind of insights you can, you can uh, get from this. So we've actually got a prop. So uh, Ida is actually going to role play the, uh, the form. And I'm going to be the human trying to get something done. And let me tell you about the situation. And this is actually a real one that happened about a month ago. This is the form field. You can check this out. Um, you're fine. You're good. All right. So I'm trying to reserve a meeting space in Amsterdam. Actually, I'm just trying to get a quote for a meeting space in Amsterdam because I'm going to have a workshop there next month. And, uh, and so I was looking at different hotel sites, looking at different venues, and trying to get an idea of how much it will cost for a one-day workshop. Um, it's for people who live in Amsterdam. Uh, I would be the only person traveling there. Uh, the basic things you need to know, it's one day. It would be a meeting style space, um, so we could rearrange and do workshop activities. And I would need catering for breakfast, lunch, and afternoon. So that's the basic information I want to I share. Um, there was no email form to contact a person and just write those two sentences out. And so I had this form. And first of all, I'll save you the pain of getting to this form. And they actually had this meeting RFP. RFP stands for Request for Proposal. And usually I think of proposals and I think of things that people spend hours or days working on. I don't want a proposal. I just want a quick quote, right? It should take this person five minutes. But this is the form that, that it came to. And so my first thing was, uh, and I'll just start the conversation here. So a request for a proposal. I, I really don't need a proposal. I don't want to waste your time. Uh, um, fill out this request for a proposal. Uh, all right. Can I just send you an email or something? Is there an email anywhere? Uh, fill out the request for a proposal. Okay. Um, all right. Contact person. Uh, that's me, right? I'm, well, Contact person. My name? I guess that's my name. I mean, how often do people actually fill out this for other people? Usually the person... Okay, anyway. I'll Contact fill out, person. All right. I'll fill out my name. Enough, right? Okay. Email. That makes sense. I guess I assume you need email to contact me. Okay, great. Email. Telephone. Do you really need my telephone? Telephone. Why do you need my telephone? You need I mean, to fill out everything. All right, telephone. Oh. Um, all right, so I'm in the US. I'm in the States. Do I need to add plus one so you know to call? Are you really going to call me? I mean, uh, can, what can be done via phone that telephone. can't be done? All right, all right. Um, I'm going to anticipate that you need some help. So I'm going to give you plus. I'm going to put plus one on your behalf. Company. I mean, this isn't for a company. This is for me. I mean, I have a company name, but I mean, I'm not doing this for like a large organization. All right, company name. Oh, event name. OK. So this is the Seductive Interactions Workshop. Um, I'm worried you might get the wrong idea if I actually type Seductive Interactions <laughs> in there. Um, it's event not a, name. Um, I don't know if I should type Seductive Interactions. I mean, it's, um, I'll just put Design Workshop. That should be safe. Why do you even need this? I guess this is just so you can refer to it as something, some label. Why couldn't you call it your workshop or your workshop on such and such a date? Training, meeting, conference, All right. customer promotion, family event, or other. What's well, a workshop? It's training, meeting, conference, <laughs> customer promotion, uh, family event, or other. All right. So workshop. I, I guess it could be training, meeting. I think from other sites I've been to, a meeting means like twelve people. It's not a conference. It's not like like this venue here. Uh, it's not. Just pick one. Uh, <laughs> Um, other? OK, I guess it would be a workshop, other. All right, so it's going to be on one day on November 9th. Uh, arrival and departure. Uh, it's just for one day. Arrival date? November 9th. Departure date? November 9th. And, and do I have to put the year? Uh, 2009, it's 2010 right now. Can I schedule this in the past? Is that possible? <laughs> um, Arrival date? November 9th. But, oh, wait, you're thinking this is an event where people are going to stay at the hotel. No, no, no. This is for Amsterdam, for people who live there already. I'm the only one who's going to be staying, and I might not be staying at your hotel. I just need a quote for the one day. Single or double rooms? I don't know if I'm staying at your hotel. I, I really don't. Um, all right, so we could go on. But you get the idea of how, just by role playing, you saw there were bad things in the form, things that could be improved. Um, I found doing this exercise as an evaluative technique is really useful for... Uh, for unearthing those subtle things, those things that should be fixed, subtle and some not so subtle. Let's role play again. And this is, this is what I would do if we were trying to create a form from scratch or we were going to throw this one out and start over from the beginning. Um, I would actually literally role play this. 
uh, with someone else in the office um, and just have a human conversation. I have a third person recording this because out of this conversation there are going to be some insights that you can use to actually design a form, a more usable and useful form. So um, let's, let's do this again on the positive side. So I'm coming here. Um, I'm, I want to get an idea of what it would cost to do a room uh, here for, for a workshop. Well, I need to well get some contact details for you, so and I might have to check with my manager, so and then I okay. can get back to you. So if I have like an email address or phone yeah. number, we have to reach. Yeah, let me give you an email because I know we're international and the, you know, yeah, yeah, like, email, email is good. All right, okay. so my email addresses, you know, such and such. Yeah. There you go. All right. Um, what, what else do you need to know? Uh, well, you could put your name. Then I'll... Oh yeah, name would be good. Yeah, let me you give you your. To, <laughs> yeah, so here's my name. Here's my email address, yeah. and and let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a one day event, mm -hmm. um, and really, I just need breakfast, lunch, and uh, uh, afternoon catering. And but that's. For, um, do you know how many people? Oh yes, um, about thirty people. I mean, I don't know exactly. It could be as low as fifteen. It could be as many as forty, but I'm, I guess twenty-four to thirty would be kind of a good middle range. Okay. And you probably have an idea of what your room sizes are that could accommodate that. But so that's kind of the range I'm thinking of. Okay. So you need the rooms also for, like, for staying maybe? No, no, no rooms. In fact, I mean, I might need a room for myself. So if you can throw in a discounted room for me, that would be great. But I have to check with my manager, but I can help to okay. of course. Um, and like, uh, what kind of equipment do you need? What kind of... Like you need oh. a room, but what kind of room would you need? Uh, for a room to do a workshop style training, and I would need um, the, the projector as well, projector and slides, some audio. Some audio. Yep. Okay. All right, so we'll stop there, but you get an idea, um, some different things. Like one insight there was oftentimes for these events, you may, early on, you may be, oh, thank you, Ina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, one thing I would take from there is instead of asking people to specify the specific date, like I had an idea late October, early November, but I didn't know when. In fact, when I met with people on the phone, I would say, hey, I think it's going to be a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, but if there's a certain day of the week that, you know, it would be cheaper for me, you tell me, but let me just give you kind of the range or the time frame I'm thinking about. Um, so right there, you could say, let's put a date range for getting quotes, all right? How much difference does it make on quotes? Could, you, could I do that? There's little things you can discover from a conversation like that.